Legislators are in a fiscal session right now, but Ukraine's, Ukraine is on their mind too. Our Andrew Epperson is live in studio. And Andrew, what are they doing about it in their roles? Well, Gary, resolutions are largely symbolic. We all know that, but senators and representatives from every political party are drafting them anyway, saying the state can send a message to Russia. We should never take for granted the freedom that we have and the price that was paid to, to get it. Independent State Senator Jim Hendren says videos and images of the Russian invasion disturbed him, especially after meeting with a Ukrainian delegation this year. I had uh, five of them here from Ukraine, and they were worried that they weren't going to have a home to go to and that their families weren't going to be safe. So, during the fiscal session, senators will have a chance to vote on this resolution, condemning the invasion and reiterating support for Ukraine. Most most leaders stand with the people of Ukraine and their efforts to try to defend themselves and to defend democracy. In the House, a bill drafted by Republican State Representative Aaron Pilkington asks for even more, including reopening the Keystone Pipeline and supporting people in Taiwan. All political parties have something in the works. It would show our congressional delegation that here at the state legislative level, we also um, want to show support for Ukraine. Hendren says he thinks everyone will come together to pass some sort of resolution. Come together and put our politics aside and support those people in Ukraine who are giving us an example of what patriotism really is. And Hendren adds that voters should make sure they know what their leaders think about autocratic Russian leader Vladimir Putin. Voters need to know where their leaders stand, and uh, that's, that's the purpose of this resolution. Now, if you want to check out both bills that I just mentioned, you can head to our website. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, KARK 4 News.